Good morning, friends of Facebook. This is John Lampson with American Shield Roofing and Construction. Uh, we're out here on the south side of Hallettsville, Texas today in the Ezel area, putting up a 24 gauge standing seam roof. Now this is a metal roof that's coming off and being replaced with a very similar profile. The homeowners reached out to us several months ago talking about some leaks that they had, came out and did an inspection on their roof and noticed that there were some spots where some rust had started and there were some leaks around the penetrations and uh, these guys decided that it was time to replace their roof with a much heavy duty, heavier duty I should say, 24 gauge. Well the metal that's coming off right now is actually old standing seam which is 29 gauge metal. So this was a profile that was very popular several years ago and uh, the, the profile is still popular. It's just this metal that's going to be going back up the next couple days is going to be much heavier duty and uh, it's going to have a whole lot more longevity and hopefully this will be the last roof these people have to put on top of their house. So. Let me walk around and show you what's going on behind. You can see the guys got here this morning, already started doing the tear off, old metals coming off and uh, starting to look at the decking to make sure that everything is still solid so that when we come back with the new underlayment and metal that everything is gonna be good to go. Let me flip this thing around and let you guys see. Just like with every project that we have, we take off all the old material, including the underlayment to make sure we can get down to that decking to see if there's any kind of rot. Any rot that's discovered as part of the tear-off process, that wood is taken off and replaced with new decking to make sure that what we're putting down on top of it is solid as can be. the old panels that are coming off right there long runs of material let me try to block this thing a little bit for you these long runs are actually printed on site with the machine it gives us that standing seam profile this is the front side of the house that you're looking at right here Everything's coming off. The goal for today is to get everything completely off of the house and get the dry in material. We're gonna use that synthetic underlayment that you've been seeing on all of our projects instead of the black felt paper. It's gonna be a lighter color. It's gonna offer more reflectivity and our value to the house. Let's go around the back and let you see what we got going on. A little breezy and cool this morning. So there's the metal that's on the roof right now. That's what's coming off the back side. around the penetrations there's some rust that started happening around a couple of them and water was getting into the house and it was ultimately determined that the best thing to do was to go ahead and replace it with something a little bit heavier duty so that they no longer have to worry about their roof moving forward What you see over here are the flashing pieces that were all broken and bent and brought out here. Got your ridge cap right there, your valley flashing right there, and then all of your drip edge and side trim and brake trim. It's gonna go all the way up and around this place, completely brand new. Once everything's torn off and dried in, we'll actually bring the standing seam roller out here. And I'll let you see that process as it happens so that you got a good idea of what 
by how this process goes. So the good thing about this particular roof that's going up is that it's going to have all the fasteners, all the screws, everything is going to be completely concealed so that there are no penetrations, there's no opportunity for water to get in. We'll reboot around all the pipes, we'll reboot all around all the, the chimney, um, everything up there is going to be completely brand new with 24 gauge metal. So anyways, we're really excited about this one right here. Uh, this is a big project for us, probably going to take two or three days to get completely done with this one. This is uh, something that we've been looking forward to with this family. I know they're excited about it and uh, at the end of the week, whenever all the rain starts to hit the, hit the area, these guys are going to be fully protected from all that stuff. So. Uh, like I said, standing seam roof, 24 gauge standing seam roof going up out here in the Ezel area uh, off of County Road 444. If you're driving by in the area, please stop by and visit with us. We'd love to visit with you about this thing and let you see what the process is all about. Uh, keep up with us. Uh, this is one I'm going to be doing some several updates on as we go through the whole process and uh, let you see how this thing works. So um, as always, I'm going to encourage everybody to go outside today and take a peek at your roof. You hear me say it every video. Go out and check out your roof, see if there's anything going on. If you notice some spots in your ceiling or if there's some rust going on on a metal roof that you have in your house, we encourage you to give us a call. Uh, let us come out and take a peek at it. I'd love to come visit with you and see what you guys got going on. My cell phone number is 832-452-1116. The company line uh, is 361-343-7018. Or if you want to book an inspection online, go to our website, www.americanshieldroofing.com. We'd love to come visit with you and see what you guys got going on. I uh, hope everybody's having a great morning this morning. I hope the coffee is hot and the donuts are cold. I'm sorry. And the, the donuts are good. How about that? Maybe not cold. I don't know if he likes a cold donut. But regardless, y'all have a great day. This is John Lamps with American Shield Roofing and Construction. I'll keep you guys updated as we go through the week. Okay? Bye, y'all.